Hey guys, it's Savan from the Mighty60 on Instagram. Today we're going to be running you through part 2 of our 12 volt install build. Um, in this video we're going to be going through exactly what you'll need to run a battery in the rear of your car um, and how to wire it up. Alright guys, so first things first, we're going to need a battery. So I've ordered a battery from Century Batteries. We'll go pick that one up today um, and then we'll get started on the actual install and layout of the whole battery system in the rear. Alright, everything is shut. We'll go head over into the Forester here um, and we'll run over to our local battery world here in Joondalup um, where I live and I'll see you guys there in a tick. Alright, so we've just arrived at our local battery world here in Joondalup. Um, I'll quickly just jump in and go suss out the battery. Wow, what a busy place. Um, we just picked up the battery, so quickly drive on home and I'll go see you guys when we get there. Alright, so I've just got back from battery world where we picked up the battery from. Um, I'll quickly show you what it is. Alright. So the reason I went for this particular battery here um, is it's an AGM style battery. It's got awesome discharge and fast charge capabilities on these. These are completely spill proof as well. Um, so it's a fully sealed unit and they've got an awesome vibration reduction system on these. So it's very resistant um, to vibrations, which means it's perfect for the back of the 60 um, or the back of your car. All right, so I'll just move this guy out the way. Um, we'll open up these wings and we'll start making some room for the actual fitment. All right, now as you can see, I actually haven't mounted this panel down. It was just being held on um, by these these wing panels here. Um, so I'll quickly just pop this up. Just move that out the way. So the subwoofer wiring and whatnot. Alright, and now I will quickly run to the front of the car and just disconnect all the batteries, um, make sure nothing's live at the back here and we'll start unplugging things and start wiring in um, the new battery. Um, usually you'd want to just disconnect your negative terminal, but because this is wired slightly differently, we'll just disconnect this whole battery. Alright, so now as you can see, all the power has been disconnected. Um, we've got to fiddle around with this now and try to pull it out. So everything's loose here, I'll just pull the panel out. As you can see, everything's still intact somehow. So I've just went to Super Cheap Auto real quick, bought a battery tray because I forgot to do that. Um, the 60 series has a factory hole right here for a mount. Um, and then I just drilled another hole straight in there to mount this bracket down. It's very firm um, the way it is. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that's come up. Alright guys, so this is the actual 12 volt panel itself. First of all, getting the mess out of the way, this is for the Anderson plugs. So this won't be here for much longer. This is going to go directly to the battery. Um, and now this is also the, the battery charger itself. So that's the Red Arc battery charger there. So basically you've got power in to the accessories, through the fuse box, back through there and then back through this conduit into this and then back towards the battery through the bigger wire. So we'll start by wiring up this BCDC charger first. Um, what I'm going to do to do that is I'm actually going to go buy another bar similar to this um, just to make all the connections a little bit nicer. We've got some thicker cables going onto this thinner cable so crimping is not really an option. Um, and soldering is just going to be quite messy. So I'll run to the shops and I might mount it somewhere here or just in the middle. We've just got to watch out for these these upright panels um, that I've kind of marked out a little. Alright, so I'm back from the shops, back to the board. Um, I've drilled a hole into here to get rid of the Anderson plug um, cabling to make it a little bit neater here. Um, what I went and got from the shops was these. It's basically just a connected to connect two lugs together um, so we can connect all these to the, the wiring inside the car and just make it look a little bit neater than it was. So I actually go about um, wiring this Red Arc BC-DC charger up. Um, you got to take into account what profile settings you need. Um, so you've got profile A which requires no orange wire. That's what we will be using today um, since we've got an AGM set up. You've got the three different coloured wires here. You've got orange, green and blue. For the profile A you don't need any of these unless you want to trigger 
um, something with the blue wire or you want to put an LED to show that it's actually working so in the front of your cab or that kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to bother with any of those. Um, I'm pretty confident that everything will work and you can still see whether it's charging or not by looking at the actual unit. So we're going to tape these up um, and then we'll get onto the actual wiring of everything. Alrighty, so this is the panel here. Um, I've wired up everything the way I kind of wanted it, nice and neatly, um, and everything was supposed to be detachable. Um, so that's why I've used these connectors here rather than crimping the two wires together. Um, so I'll go through what a basic system would, kind of how it would work. Um, so what, we've, what we'll start with is the charger itself. So the charger runs straight through here. It's got four, um, four main wires. So you've got the red, yellow, black, and then also the brown one here, which has got some red heat shrink on it. Um, the red one here is going straight to the starter battery. So all we have to do is put the lug onto there from the starter battery. Um, yellow one is the positive from the solar. So we lug that straight on there. Um, and then this one here goes to the auxiliary battery there. So we've just put a little link um, and that's the circuit breaker there just so it's all fused. Uh, we've just put a link to the main um, input to the battery and then that also acts as the power towards all our accessories there. So um, it's a bit messy in a way but it's also kind of tried keeping it as neat and as trouble free as we can. Um, so all our negatives will just connect onto here. Um, Red Arc do tell you in their brochure to um, basically earth everything to the body. I've tried earthing as much as I can to here, um, other than the front battery there. So yeah, we'll, we'll pretty much um, start installing that. You've got all your power running straight to a fuse box there. Um, and this runs back to accessories and then all the negatives um, go into this negative terminal here as well. So yeah, we'll start wiring it up and see how it goes. So as you saw everything was quite easy to put on, um, it didn't take too long at all and it should be quite easy to disconnect in the future. I'm just tightening this up here um, and then we'll quickly um, go to the front of the battery and connect the power at the front and get it all working. Alright so we're just going to wire it up to the isolator here. I'll just connect this up. Alright, that's the finished result there, so the battery's all in. Um, we've got the two points of contact straight on the battery, not a whole disgusting lump that's all hidden behind the panel here. So we've got the Red Arc charger all charging and ready to go. Alright, so that's everything done. Um, we've got the battery in, it's all fixed down. It's quite simple the way we wired it to just fix it straight onto the battery. Um, we've got the BCDC charger by Red Arc all working. Um, so we're just running the charge profile A, which is suited to this AGM battery. Um, and then, yeah, we'll pop everything away and we'll go test it out this weekend and see how it goes. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe while you're here um, and check out our Instagram page.